tell you, I am excited to be getting back on the water today. Uh, I was off this past weekend and I got my butt kicked. Two fish in two days, horrible. Uh, conditions were tough. Uh, we've had really heavy rains last couple days and the cold front seems to be gone now and uh, we're starting to get that summer feel here in South Florida. So we'll be hitting uh, Lake Wellington today. I expect the water to be a little higher with the heavy rains that we've had and uh, fish to be coming in closer to shore. So I'll be working a spinnerbait a lot lately. Uh, we'll be tossing a couple other baits as well. Uh, Topwater live target popping frog as well as the bull shad, which I always have tied on. But I'm thinking today's gonna be a spinnerbait day, so stay tuned and let's see how we make out. There we go. He's got me hung up. Got me hung up. I'm gonna watch where the line is. Oh, he broke me off. Ricochet. I don't think he's big enough for kayak wars. Let's see. No. What I'm seeing is a lot of small bay fish pods cruising the shore. As you saw back there, I believe it was a cichlid was chasing them. So I really think that the bigger fish are holding close to them. But uh, so far, that's my only one. I did miss the snake again. He was right up against the shoreline. So we'll see. Skunk's off. We got to do better than that. And this is why I've been using uh, Redline lures for years. Previously, Premier League lures. They're spinner baits, just they catch beautiful fish. Uh, GoPro died. Um, didn't get this guy on uh, video, but he was in less than two feet of water. Never surfaced, so at first I thought it was a snakehead, but beautiful fish. Redline lures getting it done again.
Oh, I threw that right on top of him. Angler, so what I want to do now is just go over real quick the bait that's been really working for me today. Uh, we have caught one on a bull shad. We also missed one on a frog. But a lot of the opportunities today have come on this guy here. Uh, this is the Redline Lures Pro X Spinnerbait in Houdini color. Uh, it's a quarter ounce, double Colorado. Uh, I've been using their baits for years. They were used to be called Premier League Lures. Uh, I actually won a tournament using their baits back in 2015 along with uh, the scum frog but what I really like about their baits um, and I'll go over this color in particular is first and foremost the head the head has a very unique eggplant shape almost uh, I really find that it gets through tight cover a little easier than your standard baits with the uh, your standard shad style head if you will uh, in addition I've always been a big fan of double Colorado what I like about the Redline Lures is you can have them in a variety of colors. Uh, I go with a nickel and brass combination. Uh, the two different colors really give off a nice flash to it uh, to call in uh, predator fish, assuming that it's a bait fish school. Uh, the color in particular, Houdini, why I like it is there's some dark greens, there's some hints of black, there's some natural colors to it, some olive drab really mimics a lot of the natural forage fish that are found in some of the bodies of water that I fish. Uh, Houdini, I've caught more fish on this particular color pattern than any other color, uh, any other brand spinnerbait. So definitely check them out at um, redlinelures.com. Uh, they have a variety of uh, spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, tail spinners, but um, definitely recommend you checking out this bait. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm throwing it on a falcon rods Buku Micro. Uh, this one is a medium heavy action rated for one quarter to three quarters ounce baits. I like to normally throw my spinner baits on a medium action rod with a moderate taper, but because I'm throwing near structure today under docks and things, I went with a little bit of a heavier action rod. Uh, in addition to the reel, I'm using a Daiwa Tatula CT. Did you hear that? Uh, this one has the 5 5 to 1 gear ratio. So it's really letting me throw this bait in your docks and stuff and work it nice and slow near the bottom. And uh, it's been deadly today. Got a couple over 20 inches, uh, another one just at 17 inches, a bunch of little guys. But uh, it's been working, so we're going to see if uh, we can get some more fish, so stay tuned.
Holy shit, what a day.